In this video, I'll take you through my seven steps of introducing an F1 Buckfast Queen. Step one, your queen arrives. Now check her out. Open the package as carefully as you can and examine what's inside. Make sure she's alive for a start. If not, take a quick photo and contact your supplier ASAP and they should be able to send you a replacement. If she's alive and she's well, check her attendant bees as these bees will be the bees who are gonna keep her clean and fed throughout the process. Then you can also check the attendant bees. Then check the fondant. Make sure the entrance is full and not eaten away too much before you introduce the new queen. Step two, take her to the hive. Place her somewhere safe whilst you open the chosen hive and keep her out of the sunlight. Step three, get a toothpick and carefully pierce the fondant right the way through as this gives the bees a starting point to begin eating the fondant and releasing the queen. Do this gently mind you as you don't want to damage the queen in any way or her attendant bees. Step four. What I do is I then place the queen on top of the frames inside your chosen colony, just to gauge the reaction of the bees. Are the bees aggressive towards her or are they excited? If they're aggressive, there could be a virgin queen already in the colony hiding somewhere. If so, find her, remove her as soon as you can, then start the introduction. Right, step five, now she's ready. So let's place her inside the hive. So again, I use a cocktail stick and I place it through the link at the very top of the queen cage. And I hang her and the attendant bees between the frames, preferably in the center of the colony, as this will help her pheromone to reach every single corner of the hive. Once you've done this, it's time to be patient. You've got to stop the urge of going in the colony, checking out the hive, seeing what's going on. You have to leave her two, maybe three days. I do two days. Because normally around two days, she's out, she's walking around the colony, or she's been killed. Step six, two days have passed, three days tops. So I go in the colony and I check inside the cage. It's normally empty. So I clear off the remaining bees and I put the queen cage to the side. Step seven, the final step. Now it's time to find your queen. At this point, so many thoughts are going through your head. Like, did they accept her? Will she be alive? Is she dead? But just keep searching, slowly and gently, and eventually you'll find your queen's fate. Nine times out of 10, she's fine. Once you find her, it's a good opportunity to take a quick photo, admire the beauty of this queen, 
And as soon as you've done that, you're happy, everything's fine. Just place the frame down back into the colony as slowly and gently as you can, and then seal it all up. Lock it all down and just let the bees do their thing. So once you're happy, the queen is sealed up, everything's going well, give it a week, then you can start your normal inspections and just check to see if the queen's laying eggs and just the overall condition of the colony. I really hope this helps. Um, it's just basically a lot of patience, prayer, and just letting the bees do what they do. The bees know best. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe if you've not done so already. And I will see you next time.